Hello Righteous, welcome to day 173 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 14.9 Fools mock at sin, but among the upright there is favor. We know from Psalms 5 verse 12 that God blesses the righteous and surrounds them with favor as a shield. The Amplified Bible Classic Edition of Proverbs 14 verse 9 reads, Fools make a mock of sin, and sin mocks the fools, who are its victims. A sin offering made by them only mocks them, bringing them disappointment and disfavor. But among the upright, there is the favor of God. Praise God, with the upright, there is the favor of God. The righteous enjoy the favor of God, the peace of God. That is what the coming of Jesus provided. Peace with God. Hallelujah. Of course, there had been war, but now there is peace with God. We see this in the message the angels brought to the shepherds just after Jesus was born. Luke 2 verses 13 and 14. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Romans 5 verses 1 and 2. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Even when we know we have sinned, it does not remove the peace of God. We can, as Hebrews 4, 16 says, come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Being able to come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need does not mean arrogance. It does not negate the fear of God. It does not take away the reverence and honor that we have for God. It does not make the righteous passive and nonchalant if they have sinned. It speaks of confidence in what the blood of Jesus has obtained for us. Now, if you are truly in love with anyone and they are in love with you, when you offend them, you don't take them for granted. Even though you know you are always accepted and forgiven, you acknowledge your wrong and you seek reconciliation as soon as possible. In fact, you do it immediately. Our text in Proverbs 14 verse 9 in the New Living Translation says, Fools make fun of guilt but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Now, seeking reconciliation here, when we're dealing with our relationship with God, doesn't mean begging desperately for what we may not get, crawling hopelessly and walking towards pain for your wrongs. Maybe God will accept you back after many days of sweat and tears and maybe even blood. No, praise God. We can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help. We come through the new and living way Jesus made through his sacrifice. Hebrews 10 verses 19 and 20. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. And 1 John 1 verses 7 to 9 say, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Colossians 1, 21 and 22. And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What favor is greater than the limitless life we have been brought into through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross? If you know or feel you've sinned against God, don't let the devil torment you. Don't let him deceive you and keep you strained from God's thoughts concerning you. His arms are always wide open. Just fall back into embrace with him. He never walked away and he will never walk away. Come back and come boldly through Jesus. He has reconciled you to God already. The price has been paid. God has moved towards you already, millions of miles. It's your turn to move towards him, which is just a turn because he is right where you are. 
hallelujah and in that reconciliation there is favor measureless boundless limitless favor welcome home thank you for joining me on today's 365 days of the righteous i look forward to sharing with you again